Today's person of interest will certainly rank high on the list of divisive internet denizens. You man. <laughs> I thought this was my hood. Stop. Leave right now. Leave. Oh my god. Don't be mad at me because you have a bed sheet on for a shirt, sir. Why is your shirt so huge, so big? Because it's as big as my foot that I'm going to put up your ass if you don't get out of the store. Uh, Mr. Fantastic, I need you to back up. Come on. Why are y'all talking to me? If you're offended, why are you talking I to me? I came over here. It looks like your teeth are playing bop it. You look like a Sully yeah, from you, Monsters, Inc. You look like a boy who's about to go to jail. Darkness. This is private problem. Darkness. Ah, ah. This is Plain Potatoes, real name Markel Anthony Carter. He's arguably one of the most infamous content creators to pop up in the last few years, and his story is essentially a cautionary tale showcasing when the pursuit of internet fame can go too far. Plain Potatoes was a provocateur who roamed the streets of Baltimore, Maryland and recorded himself antagonizing random citizens and business owners around the city for close to a year. Do not record me. I, uh, I, I, have, I will call the cops. I, I love you. Get out. Why are your arms so long? You look like a skinny Gru from Despicable Me. Posting these videos online, he quickly fostered a fan base who supported his questionable approach to comedy. But in addition to finding a legion of followers who co-signed his antics, he would also be met with a large group of outraged detractors who demanded an end to his public trolling campaign. Markel, time and time again, would metaphorically spit in the faces of his haters and continued his rampage around Baltimore for close to a year. But eventually, the walls would close in around him and Markel would have to face the same darkness that he so often cursed upon his victims. This is the story of Plain Potatoes. Want to give a big thanks to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to click their special discount link below and stick around to the end to learn more about this amazing VPN app. The story of Plain Potatoes begins in the summer of 2018, when 20-year-old Markel first began recording his interactions with the public within the neighborhood of Mount Vernon, located in north-central Baltimore. With his phone camera rolling, Markel would approach business workers, restaurant patrons, and random passerbys, and would proceed to antagonize these people with the hope of baiting out a dramatic reaction. You look like an Indian Gerber baby. Excuse me, he's a Turkish. Huh? He's a Turkish. I just said what he looked like, okay? All right. What yeah, are you? That, uh, what do you do? Uh, okay. I don't fall that Does your wife use your head as a mirror, yes or no? Markel would publish these self-styled trolling videos routinely to his Twitter and Instagram accounts, both under the Plain Potatoes handle. These videos were often presented in a way that made the victim in the video seem as the aggressor, and that, you know, Markel was only reacting to some insane Karen. And while it's undeniable that some of the people Markel messed with were slightly unhinged, a pattern is quickly detected as more videos came out. Markel was purposefully looking for trouble. What's your deal? What's your deal? Why, why, why is your chin further back than the rest of your face? Why like, are you an asshole? That being said, many people thought that these videos were funny, and Markel would accumulate a following of people who co-signed his confrontational shenanigans. They liked, favorited, followed, and retweeted. Markel was getting his first taste of internet fame, and it was something that he couldn't get enough of. As summer turned to fall, Markel would only rise in popularity online with many of his videos going viral on social media and sites like World Star Hip Hop. By winter, he had reached over 100,000 followers on Twitter and had developed somewhat of a cult-like following made up of people who excused the overtly controversial elements of what he was doing throughout Mount Vernon, feeling as if the comedy within the videos justified any harassment needed to achieve the humorous effects. And if you were someone who felt that way about these videos at the time, fair enough. As time went on and his fan base grew, Markel would only turn up the intensity of his interactions, becoming far more brazen with every video in an attempt to outdo himself. Fans thought he was getting funnier, but others felt like this was the beginning of a downward spiral. So why do you have a ThinkPad laptop? Can you get the fuck away from me? Why do you have a ThinkPad laptop? Do I need to remove you from me? Get the fuck away from me. Do you need to get the fuck away from me, man? Or do I need to remove you? Get the fuck away from me, man. I'm in, I Darkness. Did you hear that? Darkness. Give me that. You want to kiss or something? What's going on? 
Throw I will you. kiss you. I will kiss you now. I swear to God, I will put your fucking ass in jail. Do you understand me? Leave. After creating dozens of videos, Markel had disrupted the lives of Mount Vernon residents to such a serious extent that people around town were beginning to recognize him as a problem. He was a known menace and Mount Vernon citizens were fed up with his actions. In December, a thread was posted to the Baltimore subreddit calling for any Mount Vernon resident who had been a target of Markel's videos to contact the Mount Vernon Safety Facebook page. This post claimed the admin of this page was working with a police detective to investigate Markel's behavior. While no official case or charges had been levied at this time, the pushback against Plain Potatoes was mounting, and this was the first indication that an organized legal action was being considered. The month of December featured another large resistance effort against Plain Potatoes. This came in the form of a critical video aimed at him created by YouTuber Eddie Burback. The video is called I Think This Dude Wants to Kill Me. It was actually a follow-up to a previous criticism video Eddie had made about Plain Potatoes in the past, but the views and impact this one had dwarfed the original. In the video, Eddie reveals that due to a scuffle between their respective fan bases on Instagram, a mass flagging campaign occurred leading to the termination of Plain Potatoes' Instagram account. This resulted in Markel creating a new account, and him making an Instagram post which seemed to not only lash out at Eddie for his account's deletion, but also confessed a deep-rooted feeling of personal disgust and depression being one of the causes for him to create this nasty content. Because when you read the full post that he tagged me in saying he wanted to choke me to death, he said this. Let's be real. I'm depressed and lonely. I crave attention and that's why I started these vids. These vids are the product of my depression. I get attached to people way too easy. I consider suicide at least four times a week, but I'm always too scared to even try. I had a dream that I choked at Eddie Burback to death and smiled the whole time. Every day feels the same, like a cycle. My dad's a bitch. I always try to stay happy. Everything wrong in my life is my fault and I don't care. I'm kind of just doing whatever. Just gonna go through the movements till I die for real. I'm deleting this tomorrow. Just wanted to be real with y'all. Now, I saw that. Whatever the case was, it was clear something was amiss with Markel. Eddie's video was generally well received and not only did it bring awareness to this situation, it sparked a massive shift in sentiment towards Plain Potatoes online. Supporters grew meek and numerous critical threads would pop up on Reddit discussing Plain Potatoes, calling for something to be done about what many perceived to be toxic content. But despite the cries for Plain Potatoes to to stop making videos, Markel continued his antics into the new year and just kept filming. You gotta go. Come on. Sir, get off of me. You gotta go. You're too close. You your penis go. is on me. You gotta go. Your penis. What do you do about your it? Your penis is on me. What are you gonna do about it? I'm probably I'm probably gonna unzip your pants. I don't know. Yeah, please touch me. Huh? Please touch me. You, you would like that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Sir, you look like Master Shifu from Kung Fu Panda. Calm down with the umbrella, man. It hasn't rained in like four days and you have an umbrella for why? For why, sir? For why do you have an umbrella? Dennis! Dennis, calm down. You're making a scene. Everybody's looking at us and we look crazy together. Dennis. Call me Dennis one more time. Dennis, I'm going to need you to calm down. Dennis, Dennis, I thought this was my hood. At this point, it seemed like plain potatoes couldn't be stopped. Markel was just going to keep making videos and there was nothing anybody could do about it. He was on a warpath fueled by an internet clout high, and considering all the attention he was getting, it's likely he saw no reason to stop making this content. But in February of 2019, Markel would have to face a serious reality check. A reality check that for all intents and purposes marked an end to the Plain Potatoes trolling videos. On February 7th, Eric Costello, Baltimore City Councilman, had posted an update regarding the Plain Potatoes investigation mentioned earlier. Update on Markel Anthony Carter, aka Plain Potatoes, on social media. He is facing 21 different sets of charges, harassment, trespassing, etc., for videos of his interactions using hate speech towards dozens in Mount Vernon. Huge thanks to Detective John Gregorio of Baltimore Police. It was official. Markel was now facing legal consequence for his troublemaking within Mount Vernon. Shortly after the news had broke, Markel would fire up a live stream on Instagram reacting to the development. In this live stream, he asserts his innocence and seems to dismiss the charges as an overreaction. He felt that people were being too sensitive, that his videos were only comedy, and he had done nothing wrong. 
They're really reaching for charges, bro. Don't even stretch it. Yeah, they really are. They really, it really says in one of the reports that the uh, investigator went out and convinced people to press charges. So it wasn't, I don't know, whatever. Like, they can say racist jokes because I said Indian. You look like an Indian Gerber baby. <laughs> Dude's not even Indian. He's Turkish. Yes, people have hit me. Nigga, people have hit me, pushed me, spit on me, pulled out knives on me and shit. And niggas talking about they tired of hate crimes and all this other shit. Tell your dumbass fucking neighborhood to stop full of fucking pulling out knives on niggas walking up to you and talking shit. Somebody gonna walk up to you and talk shit, you gonna stab them? Bitch, shut your bitch ass up. People out here hitting me and shit. Niggas are out here putting their hands on me all the time. Niggas put their hands on me and push me out their restaurant every day. Every day. Man, like I was going around fucking with people for a year. Now everybody's fucking with me and shit. Oh, I'm facing like charges and shit. So like that's that's stressful as fuck. It's like like I mean like some of this I, some of this I wanted, you feel me? Some of this I wanted. After this live stream, Plain Potatoes videos ceased. In the following weeks, both Markel's Plain Potatoes Instagram and Twitter profiles were terminated by their respective platforms for community guidelines violations. Everything had come crashing down, and Markel's social media run was over. In regard to how these charges would affect Markel, there was radio silence on the matter until May, and in May we got an update from the Baltimore Sun. Markel Carter, 20, was charged in February with one count of second-degree assault and 26 misdemeanor counts related to harassment and trespassing, all of which stem from incidents that allegedly occurred while he was filming content for his viral social media accounts under the name Plain Potatoes. In the past week, Carter agreed to plead guilty to eight of the misdemeanor charges. Baltimore State's attorneys dropped three charges and placed another 15 misdemeanors and the assault charge on a stet or inactive docket. That means the state can opt to reopen the case at any point in the next year if prosecutors can show good cause. Additionally, Carter agreed to stay away from the alleged victim in the assault case, a man who police say Carter kissed on the face. These days, Carter resides in Virginia and said he has moved on from the antagonistic brand of humor that got him into legal trouble though he says much of his old content lives on through copycat social media accounts. Carter is scheduled to face sentencing for the eight misdemeanors in June. Finding information about Markel's sentencing, which should have happened over a year ago at this point, has actually proved pretty difficult. It was never published on any publication, as far as I'm aware. Looking up Markel's public court documents online shows that almost all of the cases opened against him were closed. And I'm not an expert at legal jargon or anything, but from what I can tell, he never actually had to serve any jail time. And again, I'm no legal expert, right? My interpretation of this could be completely wrong and he could actually have gotten fined or something. But from what I could tell, he didn't get super screwed up by this, but it was likely enough to shake him into stopping making videos. Plain Potatoes has pretty much vanished from the internet since the charges were brought against him, and I think it's probably fair to say that he won't be back. Well, at least it's Plain Potatoes. I would be a stone liar if I told you guys that I never laughed at a Plain Potatoes moment. There were some funny moments in these videos, but I'm generally of the opinion that his content was indeed toxic. That being said though, I believe Markel could return and hone his comedy into something less destructive and rebuild an entirely new following. The guy was young when he blew up, and I think he fell for the notion that the more obnoxious his videos were, the more fame he would receive, and this created a feedback loop that ultimately reached a critical mass and his quest for internet fame led him right off the cliff to self-destruction. I think if Markel returned as himself and not the antagonistic character, the internet may be willing to give him a second chance. And this actually seems to be the case. After writing this script, I was made aware of Mark Hell's newest pair of Instagram accounts. One called Bass Potatoes features Mark Hell rather skillfully playing cover songs on the piano. And his other account, Markel Carter, hosts a handful of photos. And judging by the captions in some of these photos, it looks like Mark Hell has finally found peace within himself and is doing well and the followers of these respective pages seem to enjoy the direction Markel has taken his online presence. And I think that's just fantastic. And that is the fall of Plain Potatoes. 
I want to thank Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's story. Surfshark is a VPN app that works on all of your devices. It encrypts your internet browsing data, protecting your personal web surfing habits from falling into the hands of advertising companies or other parties who want to know how you use the internet and flip it against you. A VPN also unlocks the ability to appear as if you're accessing the web from somewhere else in the world, aka server swapping. So I could be here in Tennessee and change my server location to the United Kingdom and my browser would think I'm accessing the internet from London. Not only does this make you feel like a hacker, it's actually extremely useful. For example, you can use this to watch region-specific shows on streaming platforms. Remember that Peanut Butter Falcon movie with Shia LaBeouf that came out in 2019? Yeah, I wanted to watch this movie, but I never got around to it. So checking the United States Netflix page, it doesn't pop up. But if you switch your server to the United Kingdom, you can watch this movie in its full glory just through the power of server swapping. And that's just one of the things you can do with Surfshark VPN. The link below gets you 85% off Surfshark plus an additional three months free. There's a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee, so what do you have to lose? Check out that link below, it helps out the channel a lot. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Let me know who or what you want me to talk about next and I'll see y'all in the next one. Want to give a major shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace.